Hello and welcome back to another video, a little bit of a hastily prepared video because I had prepared another video which was is currently uploading but I'm going to save that for a little bit later in the evening, perhaps even tomorrow now. Um, that's all about free transfers and perhaps building a 1 to 11 in free transfers but just been on Twitter and on the Express and Tell Star website and Wolves have finally announced the signing of Roderick Miranda. He's been a player that Wolves have been keeping tabs on for the last couple of weeks. It's been a, a transfer that's been heavily rumoured for a long time but it's finally gone through for an undisclosed fee so we're not sure quite how much we've paid but it's a four year deal. Kevin Thelwell has said that Roderick is a, t a player that we've seen many times having had great experience at top top level. He's very good on the ball and I'm sure he'll be a great addition to Nuno Espirito Santos squad going forward. He's played for Portugal uh, in all his age levels up to under 20 level. He hasn't made a full cap yet. Uh, he's played for Deportivo La Coruña as well. He's played in the Europa League final for Benfica a few years ago. But he's been a Rio Ave for the last four years. He's played 72 times for them. So, not at the top of the Portuguese league. He said himself that he's got a good relationship with Nuno, but also he's spoken to Ivan Cavalero about living in Wolverhampton as a whole and finding out about the place in general. He seems quite enthusiastic about the project at the club, which perhaps suggests that Nuno's doing a good job at selling the project to players and hopefully we'll start to see a couple more players coming in. He seems to be... I've only briefly looked at him on YouTube but he seems to be a very, very skillful centre-back. There's a particular clip where he takes the ball from a throw-in, beats a man and has a shot from 20 or 30 yards out and it whizzes into the net. So he seems to have a bit of ability there as well. Uh, hopefully he'll be able to bring something different to the team. That's what I've talked about in my last couple of videos, is trying to bring something different. We've had sort of, you know, Ryan Bennett has come in, but he seems to be a replacement for Danny Bart. This player now, Miranda, looks as if he could be a ball playing centre back, somebody who can take the ball out of defence, something that we've missed, well to be honest that I've never seen at the Wolves, bridging that gap between defence and midfield and not having to have a player like Sice go back 20 yards to fetch the ball from Bart and run it forward, that's what we're looking for and if he's a solid centre back as well you can't really tell from the stats but Hopefully, he'll be somebody who can bring something to our team. So, overall, I think I'm quite pleased. Six foot three as well, so he's a big lump of a lad. Another rumour that's come out about him as well, it's not been confirmed yet, but it looks as if he could be our captain for next season as well, which further raises the question as to what is happening to Danny Bart. Is he going to be moved on? Is he going to be further down the pecking order? Is he happy to be further down the pecking order? What do you think in the comments? Please let me know. It's an interesting time now, Start things are starting to get moving, hopefully as well we'll see another signing in the next couple of weeks. Still no movement with the right back, uh, Afosu Aye, who we were linked with a couple of weeks ago. There were reports that he was having a medical and that the deal was going to go through. Whether that's fallen through I'm not quite sure yet, but we'll bring you any updates as soon as they come in. The Wolves Twitter announced earlier on today that they're going to launch the new website on Thursday the 15th of June. The kit is expected to be announced around about the same time. Now, I don't know whether it's going to be the same day or the day after. So keep an eye out for that. It could be on sale this weekend. I doubt it, though. I think usually there's a bit of a gap between the announcement and being able to buy it. So thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe for regular updates and reactions to these signings. I'm quite infused by this sign-in. I'm disappointed with his hair, though, because the pictures that I'd seen, he had a big curly mop. And he seems to be quite stylish. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Don't forget to watch out for that other video that's been that's going to be released later on tonight about the free transfers that are available from the Premier League this summer. See you soon. Bye-bye.